Good evening, everyone. Eric, Stephanie, Hi, how are you? Hi. Welcome to today's session. Let me ask, how are you today? How do you feel? How do you guys feel today? Hey, how have you been, coach? I'm okay. I'm okay. I've been uh, a little busy, but I'm okay. What about you? Busy? Yes, kind of busy, kind of busy. With yeah. your dinner, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, today I went to work in the morning and in the afternoon I was doing some errands so I was not home I got home here, I got home like around 5.30 p.m. so I've been going around doing different things I, I went to pick up my car because it was not uh, I had a problem with my car on Saturday so the it was at the, the shop they were fixing it I got it back today, so I've been doing a lot of things today. So I've been I've been kind of busy. What about you? We did not see you yesterday. What happened? I'm not gonna lie, but um, yesterday was my month's birthdays, and we had to celebrate it. All right. That's why, and. I tried, but I couldn't. I couldn't connect. Yes, it was. I I had to spend time with her, with with her. Yes, I understand. I understand that. That's that's okay. That's okay. That's understandable. It's one time a year, you know. It is not every day. So I'm guessing it's just uh. For sure, I'm, but I'm uh, here today. To... Sorry. I'm here. But I'm here today, yeah. Um, ready. And that is good. That is good. I'm glad that, that you're here today. But how was how was the the, the celebration? How was your uh, mom? Happy? It was, was she amazing? She, she was very happy. That is good. I'm happier. Glad. She was very happy. Happier than normal. For sure. For sure. All right. Well, that is good, Eric. That's good to know. How was work today? Was a little disappointed because I have more more taxes than another days. Cause more my taxes. I my another coworker have a an accident. Oh really? What kind of accident? And, um, he fly with her with with it with her. Sorry, sorry, with his motorcycle. Oh wow! Yes, and another car crashed with him. Yes, but is he okay? Hmm. Mm. I don't know. You don't know? He is in the he is in the hospital. All right. Ah, motorcycles are very dangerous. Like I think but, I think he's but in yes 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 but in this case um was I don't know how can I say culpa fault fault it was his fault. Is called the the man of the car had the the cold because he oh, was uh, it was his was strong. Oh wow! Ah oh, wow! I cannot believe this man. This is a uh, very unfair, very very unfair. But I hope I hope yes. your your coworker is fine. Uh, I know motorcycle crashes are very very dangerous. Motorcycles are very risky. Eh. Yes, I had I have a motorcycle, but with this motorcycle I have, I have never had a, an accident or a crash. Uh, but uh, when I was when I was learning uh how to ride a motorcycle, 
I had two accidents and I destroyed, well, not destroyed. I injured my left knee two times. My left knee two times. The first time I did not see the a brick or a piece of stone in a brick. And uh, I lost lost control, so I I uh, injured my knee, my left knee. The second time I did not see a dog, and I crashed the dog, and I lost lost control, and I landed on the concrete well, on the street. I I hurt my my back, my hands, my knee again. It, motorcycles are very dangerous. Yeah, for sure. But that is the only. No, new in this case. News, yes, that's the only news. Okay, all right, all right. Well, Eric, the good thing is that you are back, you are here today, and I'm glad that you are here again. Yes, okay, okay. All right, let me check, uh, Carla, uh, listener. Stephanie, are you going to be a listener? Ronald, what about you? Mario, please let me know if you guys are going to be as listeners. Emerson, let me know. I haven't seen the, let me see what's going on in the group right now. Hi, teacher. Hi. Yeah, I already arrived in, but to my home, but probably in a couple of minutes, I will have to go out to buy something, something to the, to the drugstore, but All right. no, it's a, a normal. Everything's good. Everything, everything's fine. It's not a big deal. Okay, just I, I can see the, the the messages right now. I can see them. I can see them. All right, all right. That's that's fine. That's fine. Very good. Uh, well, thank you for letting me know about that. Marilyn, what about you? Are you there? Mauricio, Katia, Mauricio. Hi. Good evening. Yeah, I'm here. Excellent. How is your knee going, Marilyn? You feel better so, now? Yeah, now, are yeah. You, are you jumping? Yeah. Are you running? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. No, that's not possible. <laughs> no, I, cannot, possible. I cannot jump. I cannot run. Two years, nothing. No. No. <laughs> how, was, how was your day? How do you feel right now? So, yeah. With I am with flu, fever and cough, but I'm good. Okay, I understand that. Thank you for letting me know. And yesterday, and I couldn't speak because mm -hmm. for the flu, uh, I don't know, but uh, what happened with my voice. Mm -hmm. But and I, I hear not other, not all classes, but in I. Yes, I understand. I understand. Have you been taking or are you under medication? Yeah. All right. Did you get the sick leave or some? So a little. No, no, the sick leave. Sick leave. Yes. What is? Sick leave is a document you receive at the, at the insurance company. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. Just to, just, just today or, 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 I mean, yesterday or today? Two days. Yesterday. So yesterday. You, you went to work today? Yeah. Ah, oh, sad. I'm sorry, Marilyn. <laughs> yeah, and I, I think that it's for the weather. Because and I yeah. am allergic and and the weather no, don't help me. <laughs> yes, that happens to me too. But it happens when uh, well, the house over here where I live is a little dusty. There's dust everywhere, and sometimes when I clean the walls or when I clean the roof, this dust uh falls or lands on me, and uh, it damages my my health. It gives me allergies and I'm sneezing, coughing pretty much all day. Uh, what I do is I take a pill. Uh, what's the, the name of this pill? I can't remember the name of it. But I take a pill and with this pill, I just wait a couple of minutes and uh, it, it works. It's fine. 
Yeah, but the, the, the change of weather is what, what is killing a lot of people right now. It's very cold. Yeah. Yeah, I think that is for the I in in a moment is very hot, and the other moment is <laughs> the very cold. In, in yes, I don't know. Yeah, welcome but this to, is for the, for the change. Yeah, I think that for the change, and and then you can you you is the so for con, with with flu. I think. Yes. That's what happens in El Salvador, yes. And I was, uh, yeah. I can't remember if I read this piece of news or if I watched a video about it. And uh, the point is that they say, or people are saying that this month, I mean December, the coming one, December okay. is going to be very, very cold. Well, I'm not sure if that is going to happen, but if, it, if it that's the case, you're gonna have to get ready with sweaters or with with uh, with socks, sweaters, hoodies, and things like that to you know to protect ourselves from uh from the cold. Well, excellent. Thank you, uh, Marilyn, for being here today for joining. I'm glad that you're feeling uh, a lot better in comparison with yesterday. I know health problems, allergies, stuff. The flu is, it's a very, very annoying. You feel sad, you feel bad, you feel weak. You feel, uh, uh, you know, like you don't want to do anything. Yes, I understand that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you for joining, Marilyn, and welcome to today's session. Katya, hello, Katya. Are you there? How are you? Good evening. Hi, teacher. I'm fine. That's the good. It's let's say <laughs> counting uh -huh. the days of the week. What? What? What do you say? I'm sorry. I didn't catch you. <laughs> what? I I did not ah, hear you ah, very well. I am I am counting the days of the week. That's the good. It's let's say. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. I was. I was. <laughs> I was checking the, the, the speaking of weekend time, I was checking the, the, the calendar today. And uh, it's Tuesday already. Can you believe it? Tomorrow is Wednesday already. The week is like going very yes. fast. The time is flying. Wow. Yes. I, I yes. cannot believe this. And, and, uh, it's going to be December on Friday. On Friday. Yeah, me too. Well, the, the Friday is December. <laughs> Finally, December. Wow. Yes. That's not really possible. It's incredible for me. I really like the Christmas season <laughs> in December. The lights, the decorations. Everything is time. perfect about this season. This, this yes. month coming up, the everything, is, everything is perfect. <laughs> Decoration, the food, the tradition, the, uh, the park. As I said, the, the Christmas lights, the trees, the gifts, the family reunions, a lot of food, uh, music, parties, dancing. It, ha it has everything. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I think the same. So I am excited for, for that season is coming. Oh, wow. You're excited, <laughs> you're excited, yes. Well, I, I told you, I told you guys that I was going to decorate this year. I have not decorated yet because I'm still working. I don't have a lot of uh, free time. Uh, luckily, I'm going to be done with my job from my other job on Thursday. And I'm going to start my vacations uh, from the school on Friday. So Friday, uh, December 1st to... I think January the third or January the fourth of next year. Next year I'm coming. I'm going back to school. Yes, so I'm gonna have a, a month off from school, and uh, from from Insofor. Well, from Insofor, I think it's gonna be on Monday, the last day. Yes. So let's see what happens these coming days. All right. Well, Katya, thank you for joining today's session. It's good to have you here again. Fabricio, hello, Fabricio, are you there? Can you hear Thanks. us? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. 
Hello, welcome. Good evening. How is everything going? Uh, everything's okay, teacher. It's just that I'm coming right now. You, you are coming, one uh, to my home right now from Cincinnati. I don't know if you can hear me well. Yes, I can hear you. You're, you're driving, you said. What? Are you driving? No, literally walking in the street. Oh, really? Wow. Be careful. Be careful. Yeah, no problem. Don't worry. But uh, I can be able to participate uh, uh, walking in the street. I can barely, barely hear you. Oh, I understand. I understand. All right. Are you going home? Yes. Yes, yes. All right. Let me well. Let me know when you get home by sending me a message through through Zoom or or through the WhatsApp group, or you can just uh, show me a reaction over here. With the reaction, I will know that you like this one. I will know, or I will I will okay, find teacher. out that you are available. I will let you know when okay. I'm get home. Yes. Let me know. Let me know, please. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, Mauricio, are you there, Mauricio? Yes, I'm here. Excellent. How is everything? How are you doing oh, today? today? Today was great because I don't know, but I see, I feel that November uh, runs fast <laughs> and uh, we just have today's and December. After December, I'm going to have the party on, of my, my, my company. December two, and uh, after El Aguinaldo, and, and I don't know what happened with the year, but it's almost twenty four, but it's okay. Yes, and yes. only that, yes, yes, only that, and I don't know. I have a question about the playing form. Um, yeah. we have we we have we need we we just need the process. Or we have to get a, a, a good score because I always uh, do the, the the session three, but about session two, I got a bad score. I don't know if it, that will will affect me. It will, it will. You have to get at least 80% in each section. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I'm going to check that because I, I don't know if you remember that I didn't get the, the right answers. I remember. In yeah, fact, yes, I was checking. But I this was, was my problem. I can't remember what time. I think it was like around 10 a.m. today. I was checking. I was checking your, the, the, your record. And uh, let me see. Well, the one that you have to increase right now, Mauricio, well, two, two parts. Section number one and number three are fine. You have 100% in each part. I yes, need you uh, to to today, today uh, uh, work about uh, section number three. Yes. All right. That's good. The midterm exam is at 70%. At least it has to be at 80%. That's the minimum, 80%. So it means 80%, you are 10% okay. short. Okay. And, uh, and section number two or unit number two is at 65 right now. You need to increase it to 80% at least. 80%. I'm going to show you the 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 whole thing later on. By the end of the class, I'm going to show you who's work, who's worked and who hasn't. And uh, well, okay. guys, you you have to work on it. Yes. Okay. All right. Thanks. Very good. Excellent. Let me take attendance. <clears throat> to start with this. Diego Josue Benitez Leiva, Nahir. Elizabeth Stephanie Vázquez Ramírez. Good evening, present. Good evening. Stephanie, are you going to be as a listener the whole class? Not the whole. Okay. Let me let me know, Ogar. Let me know. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Stephanie. 
Ulysses had left Vialta with that await. In case I saw her. No. Carla Ivania Anaya Cheta. You skipped my name, teacher. Oh, yes, you, it is true. Whose name? I, I actually I actually skipped two names, Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. <laughs> okay. Sorry, <Emerson>. And <laughs> Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. I'm here. Yes, sorry, sorry. Carly Vane, right? Car Car Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Luis Jorizo Tobar Ramos. Present teacher. Let me see. I sent a message to the group. All right. Thank you, Carla. I see you. I see your message. All right. Hold on. Luis Javier Castillo. No. Magdiel Saúl Garcia Morales. No. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Yes, thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramirez Lopez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, thank you, Mario. Mario, are you going to be as a listener? Uh, no, teacher, no. No? No. Okay, good. But let me change change it. All right, let me erase the, the listener part right now. In that way, I will know. What did I Okay, very good. Let me see Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Raul Edgardo Muñoz de Cid. Ronald Alexander Vázquez Diego. And uh, Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramírez. I'm here. Yes. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mention you before. Thank you, Raul, excellent. All right, let's begin. Uh, well, I guess that you guys remember a little bit about yesterday's class or topic, I mean, grammar topic. It was kind of uh, confusing, challenging, a lot complex, uh, and it was indefinitely pronounced. We kind of studied a little bit about, about this topic. So we're gonna start by reviewing this topic for a few minutes. And let me just uh, help you out with this. Take this measure, there you go. All right, let's begin. So indefinite, pronouns. Which ones are those? Let me help you out with the list. Anyone? Yeah, any, anybody? Anything? And anywhere. And anywhere. That is with any. With any. Oops. Now, we also have uh, with no, we got no one, we got nobody, we've got uh, nothing, and we've got nowhere. Oh, I forgot. No, yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. Also, we got every, everyone, we got every, Everybody, we've got the uh, everything, everything, we've got the uh, everywhere, everywhere, 
We also have some someone. Got uh, somebody. Something. And the, the last one will be somewhere. These are the indefinite pronouns that we studied yesterday. I bet you remember them. I know they are uh, kind of challenging to, to understand or to comprehend. Now, let's see. I'm going to show you how we use this, these things. Yes. Well, as you know, uh, they are used to mention, to express. So, mention on Look at this definition. They are used to mention unspecified things, objects, and places. Those those are uh, things. So when we use indefinite pronouns, means that we don't know who or what or where we are talking about, who we are talking about, what we are talking about, and where or about where we're talking. Yes. Excellent. Let's see. How do we use anyone, anybody, anything, and every, anywhere? Well, there are two ways in which we commonly use these ones. Commonly, commonly, all right? Commonly. Those are for, let me show you right here, negatives and questions. Well, actually, that's not entirely correct. Affirmatives. Affirmatives, negatives, and questions. We can use anybody, anywhere, anything with affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and excuse me, and the questions. The three structures. The three structures, yes. Nobody. No, sorry, no one, nobody, nothing, and nowhere. These four are only used in affirmative. In affirmatives, only with affirmative sentences. Yes, yes. But I was telling you, or I told you yesterday that when we use no one, nobody, nothing, and nowhere, we're using a, an affirmative grammar structure. Yes, it is affirmative. But the meaning or what you're trying to say or what you are implying is negative. The meaning is negative, but the structure is affirmative. No one likes my cake, for example. No one likes my cake. Yes. The sentence is affirmative, but the meaning is negative. Yes. Right? Very good. We can use everyone, everybody, everything, and everywhere with affirmative sentences. Affirmatives. Yes. With affirmatives. Let's leave it like that. Someone, something, somebody, somewhere. We can use it with affirmatives. Negatives. And the questions. The same as anyone, anyone, anybody, anything, anyone. So we can use them, yes. All right. Let's see. Let me give you some examples. Affirmative over here. Letter A stands for affirmative. Like this, anything is possible in this life. 
That is an affirmative sentence. Anything is possible in this life. Anything in this case means cualquier cosa. Anything is possible in this life. Yes. Let me give you a B example. Excuse me. And for negative. And for negative. Marcos didn't go anywhere last week. Look at the example. Marcos didn't go anywhere last week. Negative. How about questions? How about questions? It's a cue for questions. How about questions? Let's see. Did your friends give you anything for your birthday? Did your friends give you anything for your birthday? Anything means in this case, in this context means algo. In the first one, uh, anything is possible in this life. Cualquier cosa, anything. Marcos didn't go anywhere. Oh, anywhere. We got it differently over here. It's ningún lado. And uh, anything down here means algo. Right? So we can use it with three with three structures. Affirmatives, negatives, and questions. Now, no one, nobody, nothing, and, and nowhere. We can also only use them for affirmative, with affirmative sentences. But uh, like I said before, they have to be they i mean they are or they are expressing a negative meaning hold up all right look nothing you say will change my mind Nothing you say will change my mind. Yes. No one in this class has uh what's the name? There you go. I don't know if you have if you have one, guys. <laughs> no one understood you. As oh, an right. example. No, nobody. Let's use nobody, right? Nobody understood Mauricio. Okay, no one, nobody understood Mauricio. As you can see, the examples are affirmative. But the context or what you're saying is negative. Yes. Very good. Very good. Let me see. Let me move this. All right. Let's continue with everyone, everything, everybody, and everywhere is almost the same as the previous one. We only use them for affirmatives. For affirmatives. Let's take a look. Yes. Everyone, everyone has to, everyone has to study, has the right to study. Look, everyone has the right to study. Everyone has the right to study. All of it, right? Yes. I am going everywhere this weekend. I'm going, I'm going everywhere this weekend. 
everywhere. Yes. Everything has changed, has evolved. Everything has evolved. Affirmative sentences. Then we have somebody, someone, someone and something. Yes, affirmatives, negatives, questions. Let me help you out. Something went wrong with the purchase. Something went wrong with the purchase. Another example, negative. I will remove this. I didn't. Didn't get something. I didn't get something. I didn't get something. Yes. And uh, for questions, Do you know someone whose laptop is new? Do you know someone whose laptop is new? Very good, yes. And those are the indefinite pronouns with some exceptions. The exceptions are nowhere. Excuse me. The exceptions are nowhere, anywhere, everywhere, and somewhere. These are not indefinite pronouns they are called indefinite adverbs yes do you have any questions about this or do you have anything to say about this grammar topic tell me For sure, I couldn't catch the last, uh, the last thing that you said that about anywhere, nowhere. We can oh. use that. Yes, the thing is that these ones, this, the well, this word, this one with where, they are not called indefinite pronouns. The indefinite pronouns are only anyone, anybody, anything, no one, nobody, nothing, everyone, everybody, everything, someone, somebody, and something. Now, anywhere, nowhere, nowhere, everywhere, and somewhere, they are not called indefinite pronouns. They are called indefinite adverbs. They have the similar, they have a similar meaning, a similar use of basically the same meaning and it's the same uh, pattern and the same grammar use. The difference is that they belong to different grammar fields. Yes, that's the difference. But they uh, have okay, a, okay. a similar or uh, the same use, as you can see. Yes. But in this case, um, it works. Uh, they work. They work. Um, for example, anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, we can. We can. It. It has the same. Uh, option: affirmative, negative, and question. Yes. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. I know Thank this, you. This topic might be confusing or might turn confusing to you guys, but. What we have to do here is practice a lot because there's no other there's no other way anything is possible. <laughs> yes. Anything is possible. Nothing. No one. Nobody. Everyone. 
everything. Now, let me ask you this. How do you say no sé nada in English? Guys, how do you say that? No compré nada, no hice nada, no sé nada, no como nada, no bebo nada. In English, tell me. Maybe I don't know nothing. There you go. I don't know. Nothing. Okay. Very good. Eric, take a look at this. No one, nobody, nothing, and nowhere are only used in affirmative structures. Can you repeat what you said? Eric, can you repeat? For sure. I don't know nothing. Okay, it's I I don't correct. know. Say I don't know nothing. Okay, yeah, in 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 uh, how can I tell you this? You can you you gonna see this in some sentences of music. You gonna you are gonna see uh, I don't know nothing, but uh, like I said, if you see up here, affirmatives. And the sentence is not affirmative. Why not? Because we have the auxiliary don't or do not. And over here, what we are saying is we are, uh, how can I tell you this? But we have two negatives. Nothing is negative. I mean, negative meaning. And don't is a negative auxiliary. This means that we have a problem, double negative. And we cannot have a double negative in English grammar. That is not really correct. Or that is not correct. Yes. Right. So what do we need to do over here? We have two options to fix this problem. It, it applies with with any 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 sentence that goes like this. For example, I didn't I didn't buy nothing. I didn't go nowhere, right? I didn't see no one. All those, all those, let me write them down over here. We can do that. We have plenty of time to do this. Okay. I, I don't go nowhere. I don't call no one. And uh, what was the other one? No, it's the same. Nobody, right? So we have these three. These three sentences right there. Let me move this and raise it. Three sentences right there. How how can we fix these sentences? How can we fix them? Because they are grammatically incorrect. Because we have double negative. Remember, nothing, nowhere, and no one are negative. Words, Go, don't, don't, and don't is the negative auxiliary. So the first option to fix this is including I don't know anything, anything. I don't know anything, or you can say I know nothing. I know I know nothing or I don't know anything. The same happens over here. I excuse me, I don't go anywhere or I I go nowhere. I don't call anyone or I call no one. Yes. That is only for a negative sentences, double negative. When you have double negative, you're going to have this, this problem. So this is incorrect, incorrect, incorrect. Yes. 
Very good. Let me save this. How can I save it though? Guys, do you have any more questions? No? Okay, perfect. That's okay, no problem. Not a problem, not a problem. Let me do some right now. I can get the screenshot. Let me know if you if you get the image in the group, in the WhatsApp group. I just shared it to you or with you guys. Can you check if you got it? For sure. Did you get it? Yes. All right. Yes, did you? Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's see. Let me share this uh, activity. We're gonna be working one by one. Yes, it says there, it says there, put the uh, correct indefinite pronoun, Somebody, something, somewhere, anybody, anything, anywhere, nobody, nothing, nowhere, everybody, everything, and everywhere. We have uh, like 15 examples, I think. Okay, no, it's 20, 20, what? 24. We're not going to read them all. It's too much. Maybe 10 or 15. Number one, let's see. Uh, Katya, can you read the first one? And can you tell me or can you give me the indefinite pronoun you think is correct? Okay, but uh, I had a question. The part, the, well, the last part, what is? It is just an ex explication. Yeah, that part. In a certain, in a certain place. Mm, Uh-huh. No, it's just uh one place from from uh from uh it says that she wants to live by the sea, by the sea. But uh, in a certain place means in a specific place. Ah, uh, okay, it's like a explication for the answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm. She wants to live space by the sea let me review the the indefinite pronouns anywhere yes anywhere is the best one right there okay anywhere yes she wants to live anywhere by the sea in a certain place. Number two, thank you, Katia, for your participation. Eric, go ahead. Read the second one. Okay. She put in the box all the things that she had. Let me check the the options maybe anything no 
Look. All the what things happened? that what she had. All the things that she had. I'm sorry. Maybe something. No. <laughs> this one is, I know it is confusing. And in my word, sure. I mean, what you said, what you said is grammatically correct. I can say she put anything in the box. I can say she put something in the box. Yes, of course I can say that. But in this case, the best one uh, to use is everything. She put everything in the box, all the things that she had. Yes. That's the best choice. That we could, like I said, we could use anything or something, but the best one right here is everything. Yes. Thank you okay. for reading. Let me see. Marilyn, can you read number three? Thank you. She's not there. Marilyn, are Can you I there? try? Okay. Paul, you should go ahead. Thank you. Three, uh, number three. Uh, I have a, a dog about is does everyone have phone charger or does um, anyone? Repeat it. I don't know if is also I have a question is does everyone have a phone charger? Or does anyone? Okay. Let me explain this to you. Both are possible. But it depends on the scenario, the context. If I say, does everyone have a phone charger? It means that I am looking at people. For example, let's say that I am with 10 people. With me, it's 11. And I see that what, this person has a charger. This person has a charger. Another one, four chargers, five, six, seven. And I ask, hey, does everyone have a charge, a phone charger? In that case, I want to know if everyone has, has one or if everybody is carrying a, a charger. Now, if I say anyone, in this case, I have no idea. I have no idea if, they, if, if, if one of them has a charger. So I ask, does anyone have a phone charger? Because I need one. I don't, have, I don't have a charger. And I want to know if one person out of the 10 people have one. Yes. That is the difference. Okay. Again. Again, if I say, does, any, does everybody have a phone charger? It means that I'm seeing, I'm looking at people, and I see that some of them have a charger. And I want to know if everyone is carrying a charger. Now, if I use anyone, it means that I don't know if they have a charger. I want to know if one person has one. Is that a difference? It's complicated to, to understand right there. But the best one over here is anyone. Anyone. Does anyone have a phone charger? I don't know if a person has a charger or not. I don't know. I don't know. I could use any, uh, everyone. Yes, I could use it. I would change the context. Very good. Thank you, Mauricio. Let me see another person. Mario, can you read number four? Thank you, Mario. Excellent. <laughs> When no when this weekend we started a pump. Mm -hmm. What is your answer? We went nowhere this weekend. We we started a pump. You said nowhere, right? Nowhere. Yes. Yes, it is correct. 
We went nowhere. We went nowhere this weekend. We stayed home. We cannot use anywhere. We cannot use everywhere. And what is the other one? Uh, somewhere. No. Because it says there, we stayed home. So we went nowhere. Nowhere. And it means no fuimos a ningún lugar esta semana. O este fin de semana. Number five. Thank you, Mario, for reading. Let's see. Let me try with... Uh, Luis Javier, are you there? I don't think so. But let me try with Marilyn. Marilyn, are you back with us? No. Fabrizio hasn't told me anything. Emerson hasn't told me anything. So let me go with Katia again. Katia, can you please read number five? Okay, teacher. She mm -hmm. didn't bring a space to the party. Let me check the different pronouns. Something? Are you sure? No. Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> anything. Anything, yes. Anything. Anything. Okay. Thank you. She didn't bring any anything. Hmm. Anything. Okay. Anything. Excellent. Thank you for reading Mauricio. Read number six. Is there in the room? Is, is there someone in the room? Okay. Someone. I will say... That frozen. No responde. Okay. I don't know what happened. Se cerró el documento. Se cerró el documento. I don't know what happened. Okay. Okay. Well, we got it back. Let me bring it back. Okay. She says somewhere, right? Someone, sorry. Yes. Well, actually, we can use both someone and anyone in this sentence. But, but the context or, or, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? The scenario is different. It's different. If I say, is there someone in the room? Is there someone in the room? For example, I am with my sister in the living room. And there is a room close to the living room. And I hear, I hear some noise coming from the room. And I asked my sister, is there someone, someone in the room? I use, I'm using someone because I hear the noise. I hear the noise. So I ask, is there someone, someone in the room? Right? It means that you have, you are suspicious about, about that. You, you have the, uh, with the noise, you get a reference that somebody is in the room with the noise. Now, if you hear nothing, 
if you hear nothing and you ask your sister, hey, is there anyone in the room? Is that you don't know. You don't know if a person is in the room. You think it is full. You might think the room is empty. So you ask your sister, hey, is anyone in the room? You're asking that because you want to know if a person is there. You have no idea about it. With someone, you have an idea because of the noise. But with anyone, you have no idea if somebody is there or not. Easy, right? <laughs> Let's see. Thank you, Mauricio. Mario, read number seven. What's wrong? I'm fine. Hey, what's wrong? Me? I'm fine. What's wrong? Me? Nothing. I'm fine. Exactly. Nothing. 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 I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And number one. Quizás no debería traducir eh, en, la, en la parte final dice in a certain place yes. en un lugar eh, no debería ser otra la respuesta no somewhere porque en, en un anywhere es cualquier lugar entiendo así traduciendo pero son en, en algún lugar uh -huh. que es más cercano a lo, a lo certero que dice al final no sé si te estoy equivocado que entiende que es en a certain yeah, place yes I get your point now that you mentioned that you are right partly partly right I would say I would say both have the same meaning here I would say they, they have the same meaning, the same meaning, the exact same meaning. She wants to live anywhere, anywhere. And then we have the, the thing by the sea over there. If I say anywhere, it means any, anywhere by the sea or somewhere by the sea is pretty much the same, the same thing. Yes. Yes. You, you're right about somewhere. You can use it there too. Yes. Both. Both. Excellent. Excellent. Good, Mati. Excellent. All right, number eight. Let me see. Eric? For sure. Um, number eight. Lives in that hall and in that house, it's empty. I'm not sure, but maybe it's everyone. No, not everyone, because everyone is all, all people. If I say everyone, but look at this, it's empty, empty. It's empty. Let it's me empty. try again. Yes. I, I I don't I don't have idea about it. It's it's I have a dot in this case. Look at this one, this is no one. No one or nobody. 
No one lives in that house. Nadie vive en esa casa. It's empty. Está vacía. It's empty. Give me, a, give me a second. I have to study more about it. Yes, yes. Give, give me a moment. All right. Let's continue with two more, number nine and number 10, and that, that's it. only those two. Let's see, let me see. Mauricio, can you read number nine? Would, would you like to go this weekend? Mm -hmm. I don't expect a part. I don't expect a particular answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to go somewhere this night, this weekend? Yes. Yes. Would you like to go somewhere this weekend? With somewhere, I'm not really expecting an answer, a particular answer. It can be yes or no. It's by not really expecting a particular answer. Number 10, was really friendly, all the managers and even the CEO. Mario, read this one, Mario. Who are very friendly are the managers and, and even the CEO. Yes. Everybody who are really friendly are the managers and even the CEO. Yes, everybody was really friendly, all the managers and even the CEO. Yes, we got it. Thank you. Thank you very much for your participation right there. We're going to move on because we have uh, some things to cover on the book. Do you guys have any questions? Uh, teacher, I have a question. Yes, what is your question? Uh, in the number six, I don't know if you can... Uh, put again the screen. Wait, hey, I, I uh, you close I close the window. Yes, yes. And in I the, don't have in the I sentence don't... the 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 empty house. Is is there number six? You said right. Yeah, the the, the answer you you type uh, no one, but nobody. Um, Number what? Yeah. And let me see number six. Yeah. yeah. You 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 type. Is there no one? Oh, no no no. Number eight. Number eight. You you type no one, <clears throat> but I heard I hear you said that nobody. Is was correct too. Yes. It's valid. The two the two options. Nobody yeah, and no one. They are the same. Are oh, practically the same. Yes, the same. The same happens with anyone, anybody. The same thing. Everyone, everybody. The same thing. Yes. Nothing. Oh. Well, no, no. This one, not. No one, nobody. The same thing. Yes. Some something. Well, this one, something is only on. Someone and somebody. The same. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. Yes. All right. Very good. All right, let me show you this right now. Thank you. 
punto de close. Close the other one. I close the book. So on the book, we're gonna work on page number 33. So open your books to page number 33. On that page right now. We're gonna be answering some questions and all of it. Can you see the book? Can you see the book? Yes. All right. Yes, it is. Yes, thank you, thank you. As you already know, we start our last week today and we're gonna finish it on Monday. So unit number four starts today or section number four on the platform starts today. The name of the unit is Trends in E-Commerce. Trends in E-Commerce. What is trends? Trends are popular things. Uh, well, specifically, well, now on social media, that those are trends, or all over the internet, uh, things that are popular, those are trends. Let me see what is trending right now. People, what is trending right now? I'm talking about products and items through through e-commerce. What is trending? Nothing, right? No, nothing. Well, like I said, trend is something new, something popular. Many people are talking, posting, commenting, sharing this trend. So it's something popular or something new going around. I will be able to compare the characteristics of M-Commerce, mobile commerce, worldwide, to its characteristics in the national market. Questions, how important is it for businesses to have an app that allows online purchases? Are smartphones the future of online commerce? First question, people, how important is it for businesses to have an, to have an app that allows online purchases. I would like to get Mauricio's opinion to begin with, then Katia. Mauricio, what do you think? How important is it for businesses to have an online app or to have an application that permits them or lets them uh, do online purchasing? Well, how important is it for businesses to have an app that allows online purchases. Um, well, if 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 the business is a solid business, it's okay to create an app or a web page to show the products or show the service that the company offers. But uh, for a little business, it's not necessary to spend time and money to do that. I think that because uh, we have uh, or oh, 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 the little business ha has something different like Facebook, Instagram, or another option to show the to show the products. For me, it's very important depending the the company okay. or depending the product or the service that the company has. And are the smartphones the future? the future or online commerce yes that is well so it's not just for the business it's for all people that need to communicate and not just business but if i need to talk about business it's very important to have a smartphones and as a tool to to create to show and to to be developed and I mean, improve the incomes uh, about the company, or in, uh, or increase the 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 public that need that that need to go. 
And yes, it's very important for me. Only that. Okay. Thank you, Mauricio, for sharing your opinion. Uh, it was a very good opinion. Katia, what can you say about the first question? Okay, uh, for me, it is important because, uh, as we say, the money never sleeps, right? So if you have an app that is, this is operating 24-7, uh, you can make a, a money <laughs> when you are sleeping. So so uh, uh, people, um, I think it depends to the products that you are selling or shopping, for example, the is a pharmacal uh, product. Obviously, you need the to shop the product right now. It, unless it is the middle of the night, and so for me that is important. But I agree with my classmate when he say that if you are a little business, maybe that could. To have a app could be uh, expensive for you, but maybe you can you can make a web page or a good profile on the social media and try to invest in that. And for the small small business, I think they they are very innovative in, in that things. So because they don't have a story a physical store. But they they could be a hard a uh, a good profile to to sell, and the last are smart the, the smartphones the future of like commerce. I think the answer is yes. Okay, all right. Thank you, Katya, for your opinion. Uh, well, let me see again another person right here. Eric, what do you think, Eric? Well, in this case, that is right and necessary by the businesses because we are in the in the in the future the future is now mm -hmm. and we are growing with the process with the business and an app is is another thing it's a it's an atoll by develop more or businesses Right, right. Because uh, it, it 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 may short the process and we can we can use that and in any place for any place. Is is in my case is necessary. Okay. How about the second question, Eric? And are smartphones the future of online commerce? That are, like I said, uh, the future is now and okay. that is important. Okay. Because right. if, if you want to uh, make a uh, you wanna pay some invoice? You on, you can you can make that uh, uh, throw your your phone. Mm -hmm. You 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 have to uh, download the app. The app, for example, some some bank, mm -hmm. and if you have a you only have had to make an account. And after join 
in that you can make uh, you can pay through the 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 count fine well thank you eric for your opinion for your participation so the first both both questions well the first question is obvious uh, I mean, how important? It's very, very important. Very important because now um, online purchasing is is the best uh, or the most the most used tool or technique or, or method that people are using. Many people are buying online, are getting things online every single day. They ask for millions of packages millions of products and it is not uh like before it was more difficult now it's really really easy very simple you just send the things and that's uh, or ask for the things that they send them to you they get here in a couple of days in a few days uh let me tell you i have a person i know a person this person asks or buy buys things online very constantly so this person, uh, for example, if he asks for something today, he will get it on Friday or Monday, very fast, very fast. He usually get get uh, gets things from China. They get here in ten or twelve days, very fast. Like back in a uh, in a few years, like uh, around two thousand eighteen, two thousand sixteen. It took like three or four months to get here for something to get here. So now it's, it's very fast. And the second question, of course, smartphones are the future, are the future, not will be the future. They are the future because everybody is using a cell phone now, except the elderly, the old people are not because they cannot do it. They cannot really use it. But the new generation, even uh, people that are uh, over 50 years old, they are using smartphones. Some of them cannot really use it, but most of them, most of us are, are using the smartphones. We use them every day. Uh, we do transactions, we do processes, we buy, we sell every single day using this, by using the cell phone. So that's what we do. All right, let me see. Thank you for your participation. Elsa wants to purchase a book online, but she's having trouble to check out. Read the conversation and take turns practicing with, with it, a partner. Guys, let's continue with part number two. It's a conversa conversation between Elsa and Alex. Let me read this to you. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the app store, but I'm not sure if I, well, I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you, you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers may check out uh, may check out too complicated for for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their websites. All right, give me give me a minute. I'll be right back in one minute. In the in the meantime, read the conversation and practice it. One minute.
Okay, excellent. Do you guys have any questions about the conversation? No questions? For sure. Yes. What is the pronunciation uh, and the first when Alex says, let me see, it's already typed, typed in. Typed in. Typed with, well, the, the verb type, the ending is, uh, or the pronunciation at the end is with T, typed, typed. typed. But this T, you can combine it with the preposition. You can say type 10, type 10, type 10, type 10. Ah, uh, okay, type team. It seems it seems the credit card number is already type 10. Okay, okay, thank you. All right, more questions, people? No, okay. <clears throat> it's okay. Uh, Mauricio and Eric, can you guys help me read the conversation? Once you're done, you can switch or you are switch roles when you're done with the, fir the first time. Mauricio, you're Elsa and Eric is Alex. Okay. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems that credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account, or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember I entered in my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good. I guess it looks like the software developers may check out too complicated for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. Switch roles. For sure. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the app store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, I seem the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the pushes. Do I have to do to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good. Physical. That's good. I guess it, it looks like uh, like the software developers may check out to complicate it. For the end user, I will leave some feedback in their website. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you both for reading, for participating. Let's continue with, uh, let me see, we have Katia and Mario. Katia, Mario? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Katia, you're Elsa and Alex is Mario. Okay. Alex, I am trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I am not sure I am getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed, but you need to add your home address to your account, or you won't you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good. I guess that's good. I guess I looked like 
the software developer may check, check out to complicated for the end user. I will leave some feedback in Dave's website. Thank you both. Now, uh, do the switching. Uh, Alex, I am trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I am not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it is since the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete your purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my phone address before. My home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. About it. I better go to the doctor and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers may check how to complicate it for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. All right, thank you, Katia and Mario, for your participation. We got uh, Fabricio's green light already. Thank you, Fabricio. And uh, I need a person to read with, uh, with Fabricio. Me. Okay. Well, I'm, Who is I'm, which one? I'm Elsa. Okay. Uh, Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed typed in. Typed typed in. Typed but in. you need to uh, typed in. But you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is too complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers may check how to complicate it for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. Switch? Yes. Of course. Okay. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typing, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. Uh, I better go to the better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good. I guess I guess I looks like a software developers may check out to complicate it for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. All right. Thank you very much, both of you, for participating. I don't know if I have more people available for participation. If I do, let me know. I'm available. Okay, Elizabeth, Elizabeth is there. Who else? Me, teacher. Okay, Emerson and Elizabeth. Emerson, you're Elsa, and Elizabeth is Alex. Okay. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure when I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers may check out to complicate it for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. 
switch roles, please. Okay. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I, do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers may check out the complicated for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. All right, all right, thank you. Thank you both uh, for, for reading. Excellent, Stephanie and Emerson. All right, let's see if we got to do part three. It says the what is four questions. What is Elsa trying to do? What is the problem with the purchase? What is Elsa going to do? And what does the eShop need to do to make their software more user-friendly? Number one, which one or what is the answer to the first question, people? What is Elsa trying to do? What is she trying to do? Tell me. Buy, buy a, a, a book. Exactly Try right. She, but she, a book. She's, she's trying to purchase a book. Okay. She's trying to purchase in the a app book. Store. In the, exactly, in the app store, right? Let's write it down in. Okay, very good. What is the problem with the purchase? What is the problem with the purchase? The the problem is that it the, the website doesn't save the the credit card number. No. Home address. Oh. All the home address. The website does not save the whole thing for Like that, the website doesn't the website doesn't save the whole information. Yes. Number three, number three. What is Elsa going to do? Elsa is angry. What is Elsa going to do, guys? Leave some feedback in their website. Right. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> that, that's Alex. Alex is going to do that. See? Yes, please. I will leave some feedback in the website, Alex, not Elsa. Oh, so what, physical. what is she going to do? Oh, I got me. <laughs> Hello. She's going to get she's going to get a physical copy. She's going to get a physical copy. And number four, I think this one doesn't require an answer from the book. It does require an answer, but from, from you guys, what does the eShop need to do to make their software more friendly? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. They need to receive more 
or some feedback from the people who visit uh, the website or the the app. They they need to take into account the feedback from uh, different from different users. Okay, we got it. Thank you, Fabricio, for your idea. Let's carry on. In the part four, we have vocabulary practice. We have seven terms that we need to study. If you guys have a question about this, about this, uh, this vocabulary, I am going to help you out, all right? I'm going to help you out. Let's go on. We got social media platforms. We have mobile banking, digital purchases, digital currencies, mobile ticketing, uh, portability, and ubiquity. That's what we have. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Or what is currencies? Currencies. Do you know what that is? Current? The type of money that we, the country use. The currency exactly is the money that the country that the country uses. That's what it is. That's the currency. But in this case is talking about digital money, right? Digital money. Yes. Now, uh, do you have more more questions about the vocabulary? So basically, digital money. All right. No questions? Ubiquity, teacher, what it is? Ubiquity, ubiquity is the word. It's uh, when uh, something is present everywhere. When something is present, present everywhere, like ubiquidad, ubiquidad and uh, the word is uh, a word that we use in religion, om omnipresencia, like it's everywhere. Something or someone that is everywhere. Yes. Okay, teacher. That's Thank you. Query, yes. Mobile ticketing, you know, is the, the the piece of paper that we get, or in this case, with the cell phone, we get the, the electronic ticket. All right. Let me read the definitions and uh, let's check the vocabulary. Purchases for digital goods completed directly from within uh, an e-shop. The degree to which an, ident an entity can be successfully removed from one domain to another. They enable the development, the deployment and management of social media solutions and services. The process whereby customers can obtain tickets using mobile phones. The characteristics of a service that is available just about everywhere at all times. It refers to the use of a smartphone to perform online banking tasks. And the last one, any any means of payment that exists purely in electronic form. Yes. Well, I got a question about the vocabulary. What is whereby? Whereby the process whereby customers can obtain tickets using mobile phones. Do you have any ideas? No. It has different different definitions. Por medio del cual. Whereby means por medio del cual, a través del cual también. Yes. Por medio del cual, a través del cual. Yes, the process a través del cual customers can obtain tickets for uh, using mobile phones. Yes. All right, let me give you round four. Four minutes to match the terms with the definitions. Yes, let's match the terms. Let's match them. Let me give you four. 
four minutes, four or five minutes. Let me know, people. I'm here. Let me know when you're ready. I'm done, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. You're done.
What about the rest? Finish. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Wait, the Zoom is frozen right now. Wait, not responding. Can you guys see me? No. What do you see? Dark, dark, dark sc uh, screen. Dark yeah, yeah, the thing that it, it is frozen. It's frozen. I think it's going to take me out of the session. No, doesn't work at all. 